What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Drivers don't abandon the truck for no reason. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I, I just saw this comment because I I, I recently did a did a, a podcast with my guy and we, we talked about truck abandonment. We we talk about truck abandonment on this channel all the time. So why don't you go ahead, hit, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification so you can get all notifications when we do talk about interesting topics such as this one. Let's get into it right quick. As always, I'm, I'm going to try not to be long-winded, but every time I say that, I end up being long-winded. So this this worked with me. That's all. This worked with me. So this commenter says, drivers don't abandon the truck for no reason. There's more to this story. Now, this is, this is hot off the heels of an owner-operator uh, recently bringing on a driver to drive his truck. Uh, for whatever reason, the driver decided to not uh, drive for the company no more. And instead of bringing the truck back to the owner operator, he had to go to Janesville, Wisconsin to go and recover his truck. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Greetings from Janesville, Wisconsin. Chris, what are you doing in Wisconsin? I'm so glad you asked. I'm picking up an abandoned truck. You know, yesterday was Halloween. I could have been walking around the streets with my kids, getting candy, spending time with my family. But no, I got to drive 580 miles in a rental car yesterday to come up here and get this abandoned truck. Guy, we hire a guy, I've spent an entire weekend with him, orientation, poured hours and hours and hours into him, hauls one load, got him a load to get home to load up his truck. Decides he don't want to do this anymore. Hey, y'all going to have to come get it. And I'm like, uh, no, we'll get you a load back. Oh, no, see, I've got OCD, and uh, I can't do that because, you know, um, I, I can't keep, I cleaned and, quote, I cleaned all day long, and I still can't get it clean enough for my OCD. Uh-huh. This truck looks identical the way it looked when I put him in it the other day. So he's a lying son of a bitch. So here I am about to drive 600 miles back to the house, try to find somebody else to drive it. Maybe they won't leave it 600 miles abandoned. Now see, that's a lot of things that are owner operators face. And a lot of you, and a lot of you drivers out here that's thinking about going to owner operation part over here talking about, well, yeah, I want to be a fleet manager. Yeah, I want to do this. And you got all these so-called gurus out here that's telling you, hey, you can make money in the trucking industry by getting trucks. And all you got to do is just let somebody else drive it while you sit at home making the money. No, no, because you're going to have to end up finding drivers that don't care. You're going to find a whole lot of drivers that don't care before you find a driver that actually care about the vision that you're trying to show to them and they're cool with the money that they're making. Now, see, I don't understand. I, I, I honestly don't understand because I was an owner-operator. I wasn't in trucking, but I was an owner-operator, still is, uh, theoretically. I hired a gentleman, come to find out he didn't want to work, he tried to take the tools that I lend out to him until I told him that he wasn't going to get paid until I got my tools back. But you, you're you going to go through, through dishonest, disrespectful, just plain all out bad drivers before you find that one good driver that, that, that will help you out. That will help you out. So by you saying drivers don't abandon the truck for no reason, there's more to the story. Well, there's always going to be more to the story. But drivers abandon the truck for no reason. They don't need a reason. They just do it. They just do it. And they do it all the time. All the time. 
and it's harder it's harder on a owner operator than it is a mega carrier because see a mega carrier you can you can drop a truck at a truck stop or drop a truck wherever and the mega carrier could just hey no problem you know we'll just put that on your DAC report and we'll send somebody out there to to get the truck we don't have to send somebody out there right away but we'll eventually we'll get around to sending somebody out there to get the truck ain't no big deal ain't no big deal it ain't gonna it, it ain't gonna hurt the mega carriers bottom line if they if they abandon the truck because they got they got they got a whole fleet they got many trucks but an owner operator on the other hand that only has a handful of trucks maybe like two or three to start let's say he's driving one of them and he has another driver driving another one and you abandon that truck especially with a load then you're going to make it you you you're going to make it hard on the owner operator now the owner operator got to park his truck he got to hop on the plane to get to his truck wherever is at he probably might have to take an uber or lyft to where it was at find get the truck and if it's if it's at uh if it's to is if it's at a tow yard or anything like that he has to pay for the tow has to pay for the storage now he has to pay to get his truck back he's losing money He's losing profits. He's losing revenue. All because of a disgruntled truck driver for whatever reason. Nowadays, they do that. They do that. They do that. So my question to you, commenter, you, you must not be a truck driver. You must not be a truck driver because... It happens all the time in this industry. They quit at the at, at a whim. They quit if they don't get what they want. They quit if they don't feel like driving no more. They quit if they get homesick. They just quit for, for they just quit. They're done. I'm finished. Fuck your truck. That's what it comes down to. Fuck your truck. And now the owner operator that only has two or three trucks. Now he has to stop, put his, his truck on pause, spend an exuberant amount of money to come and get the truck. Now he has to, he has to detail the truck. He has to get the repairs on the truck if any repairs need it. Now he has to get the truck ready for another so-called driver. Hopefully, it'll be a good one this time. Hopefully. That's all you can hope for is your fingers crossed. That's it. That's it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. That's it. That's all you can hope for is a good driver. And hopefully, he'll, he'll, he'll get a good driver. But again, like I said, it's... It's much more harder on an owner operator to go and recover a truck after a truck has been abandoned than it is for a mega carrier. Because, like I said, you know, you abandon one of the mega carrier trucks, it ain't gonna put a dent in there in their bottom line. But you abandon one of these owner operator trucks that only got three, maybe two, maybe three trucks, it's damn sure gonna put a dent in their bottom line. Because now they got to recoup that money after they put into that. Now they got to work instead of one time hard, they got to work 10 times as harder to make that money up. They got to work 10 times as harder to work that money up. And they got to work two times as hard to find a good driver for that truck, man. <laughs> this uh, commenter says, People don't quit companies, they quit people. Really? Well, you know what? You know what? I I I can uh, I can agree to disagree with you on that. I can. Because 
if you get with a company and the dispatcher is freaking awful, like atrocious, and let's say you go above him to see if you can find somebody else that you can work with and it don't work, then yeah, I, I guess the people will be the reason why you quit a company. All right. So maybe, you know, may, maybe, just maybe, you know, the situation between this owner operator and this truck driver, you know, probably might have been tense. You know, maybe the owner operator didn't didn't catch that until later. OK. But again, that's when you sit down with the owner operator and y'all to discuss what's what's needed negotiate negotiate about a price negotiate what type of truck i'm going to get negotiate how i'm going to run negotiate my home time once you negotiate all of that make sure you get all of that down in writing so that there will be a clear cut understanding between the two no more back in the day no no more back in the in the in the back room handshakes this is the millennial now everything has to be written down either on paper or a digital footprint everything has to be in writing everything has to be clear cut everything has to be in the open and understand no more fine prints or anything like that anything that y'all discussed as far as the as far as getting me over here to work for you has to be put on paper clear cut to the penny to understand like my old like like my moms used to say make sure you cross your t's and dot your i's that's it that's it drivers let me know of your mishaps or anything like that or have you had an abandonment did you abandon the truck and what was the reason why and owner operators i'm glad you guys messed with me let me know in the comments below what you had to do when your truck was abandoned big g's got it locked boy want you to let me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real way yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and yeah, i'll make a sound and i want you to miss me when i'm not around come dive in my ocean sip on my push my love is like Security me your